joined in the media center are Fred's 250 powered by Coca-Cola winner Parker Klingerman, driver of the number seven Toyota Red Horse Racing uh, Toyota. Uh, this is our eighth first time winner in the series this season, 13 different winners in 18 races. This is Parker's first national series victory. He has finished I'm sorry, Parker, second five times over the past two years, and you are currently ranked fourth points in fourth in the points, 34 points back. Talk a little bit about uh, what it took you to get this fir first victory and your race here at Talladega. Well, uh, as you've noted, it's been a long road to get to this first victory. Uh, you know, two different teams, uh, you know, a lot of adversity, but today, you know, I was put with uh, some of the best people I've ever worked with and some of the best people I've ever raced with. And it starts at the top with Tom Deloach and this whole Red Horse Racing team, uh, my crew chief, Chad Kendrick, right here, and this entire team that we assembled mid-season to go after this championship when, uh, you know, my situation changed. And uh, from there, we've been on fire, I feel like. You know, it was just a matter of time before we'd get that first win. And just glad. I thought, probably never dreamed it would happen here just because <laughs> I haven't finished the Super Speed race without incident in about, I don't know, uh, three years. But... Uh, Proud to have it happen here at Talladega and just proud of this whole racing team and proud of the people that make this happen. Also joined by owner Tom Deloach. Tom, today was your 300th start in the Truck Series and this marks your 10th win for uh, your team. Talk about today's race. It's not too shabby. A uh, win on the 300, it kind of makes it really special. The other thing that's really special this year is this: uh, every driver that we've had at Red Horse this year, we won. We've got five wins among four drivers. So it's uh, pretty special that everybody that comes here wins. This is a magic truck. This truck that Parker was driving uh, has won Daytona twice. It won Daytona earlier this year with John King, and now it wins Talladega. So it's a pretty special truck to us. Also joined by Cad Chad Kendrick, uh, crew chief for Parker Kligerman. Chad, you have won both of the Super Speedway races this season. Uh, talk about that, about what that means for you. Uh, it's pretty special. Uh, uh, to, before the day started, I kind of told a lot of people I didn't really like super speedway racing. Um, <laughs> right now, I'm kind of liking it a lot. Uh, but there again, I mean, we uh, with the Toyotas and, and, and the engines from Joe Gibbs, I mean, um, I, I feel like with the trucks we have and, and the driver I had, I, I had a leg up on the competition. And... Um, it's just a matter of, of missing a couple of things and then putting yourself in the right position. And, uh, you know, we missed a couple of things, and, and Parker put the truck in really good positions. Um, but it, it's pretty – I guess it's it starting to sink in now maybe. Uh, <laughs> but I don't want to be known that as the guy who wins the super speedways. I want to be known as the guy who wins can win anywhere. Um, so, and I think now that Parker's got that first win behind him, we're going to really turn it on now. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, we'll open up for questions in the media center. Start with Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. Uh, Parker, when you finish second five times before you get the win, do you ever start to feel like, you know, maybe it's not going to come? Or were you confident that you were going to get it eventually? And could you talk about any sort of sense of, of vindication you might feel having changed teams and winning with Red Horse? What's your name again? Reed Spencer. Reed, oh, yeah. Thank you, Reed, for the question. Um, first of all, you know, as you said, when you get so close to something so many times and don't achieve it, you can you can pick two paths. You can doubt yourself. You can doubt the situation you're in. You can doubt everything around you, or you can you know keep your self belief, keep your self confidence, and look at the positive of what you did to get yourself in that position each and every time, and say, hey, if I can do that, it's just a matter of time. And I feel like you know switching teams and all the things that happened, uh, this team gave me a ton of confidence. You know, when I, halfway through the season. It looked like my career was kind of, you know, not on the upward slope I'd hope it'd be on. You know, I hadn't won. We were fifth in points, but, you know, we weren't really achieving a lot. We were getting slower as a team, and I felt like, you know, my career was looking at a, a position where I was probably not going to be a part of NASCAR for much longer. And to come over here Red Horse and have a, you know, a reinvigoration of my career, I've just, uh, I can't thank these guys enough. I can't thank everyone else here enough for giving me that confidence. And, you know, there is a vindication because we won. So winning is, winning is, uh, fixes everything, I like to say. And it's fixing everything right here. Uh, we'll go with Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. You know who I am, right? I know Lee. Okay. <laughs> He's my husband. I know he is. I don't <laughs> know why I didn't know Rita. <clears throat> just kidding. Brain. You talked about your mom in the post race, but wasn't it your grandfather that really stood by you through all of this, and is he here today? Uh, well, 
my mom was kind of the person that when I, even when I wanted to get a go-kart, my dad wouldn't get me a go-kart. And he hated, he hated the idea. He didn't want to do it. Um, and my mom and my aunt went and looked at go-karts with me. And they decided, hey, you know, this is something that we could do cheaply. And he can, if he is terrible at it, we don't like it, we'll just quit. And hopefully it's a hobby. And we went out and we won. And my dad didn't come to my first year of racing. So I, it was my mom and I going to the racetrack. And then from there, uh, I did that for about two years and decided I wanted to go to cars. And my mom was the one that fought my dad day in and day out and probably almost caused their divorce. Uh, through my racing to uh, help me go racing in that first year. My dad gave me that first year, and then at the end of that first year, we won a lot of races, won a championship, but my dad didn't want to do it anymore. So my mom went to her her dad, my grandpa, and said, you know, hey, you have that early inheritance. It could help Parker continue racing, and he gave me that, and that gave me my ability to race in 07, which got me my uh, ride in 08 in the Midget Series, which led me to Roger Penske and eventually the Stock Car Series. So... Um, she's been there the whole way, and she's been there the last two years when a lot of people doubted me. And, you know, maybe if I didn't doubt myself, she never let me doubt myself. So I appreciate it. No, no one came here today. Nope, not yet. <laughs> My phone's supposedly blowing up, I assume. So I'll say we did have camp horsing around on today, and uh, one person that's really dear to my heart, he's he's been a huge father figure to me and a huge uh, just mentor in my life is Briggs Cunningham, and it's his daughter's charity. And we were able to get on the truck this weekend. Really proud of that. Okay, we'll go back to Tom. Hi, Parker. Tom Jensen, Speed.com. Congratulations on your victory. You made a brief mention in um, Victory Lane about some problems with the truck, with the alternator. And what happened today? Thank you, Tom. Um, well, yeah, first of all, I want to mention, apologize for my uh, post-race interview. I, I inhaled so much smoke from our burnout, I wasn't quite... Uh, on solid footing when I stood up there out of the truck, so I, I had to make that short distinction. There distinct. is no drug test after No, this, yeah, well, yeah. I'm just saying. But uh, <laughs> nonetheless, um, we fought every bit of adversity today. We had a bad pit stop because we had a tire hang up. We went to the back. We got sorted to the front, and all of a sudden we had a – I can't remember what happened. We had a vibration. I dropped to the back again. We came in. We realized all our gauges were going out. Uh, I mean, the, the, gear, or the dashboard for a little while looked like a Christmas tree for about 20 laps. Um, and then from there, we pitted, we fixed the battery issue, and that's when we had that restart with Jason White and just said, you know, time to go for broke. And uh, we went for it, and it worked out. Thank you. Jerry? Parker, Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires. Uh, when he was in here earlier, Johnny said that he was setting you up to, to make a pass. Had you even thought about that? What, were, what was your plan if that was going to uh, actually come down? Well, I'm not going to give you my plan because I don't want to give you what I was going to do. But I think if you want to know what I was going to do and what we were going to end up looking like, uh, just watch the spring race, Talladega Cup race earlier this year with Brad and Kyle Busch and know that that's exactly what I plan on doing. Any further questions in the media center? We'll go back to Reed and then Bob. Yeah, Reed again. Um, Parker, the the hookups, when you got together with, with Jay White and with Johnny Sauter at the end, um, were quantum faster than the pack. Um, just wondered if you could speculate, even though they're completely different animals, as to what might, you know, what that might mean for tomorrow. Hmm. I have honestly, it's hard to say because I don't know their package. You know, I don't know what the teams I'm working on. I, obviously, I've been a part of Penske Racing for the last four years, but I'd say in the last four months, I've kind of fallen away from them and really what's going on with the race cars. Uh, you know, one of the funniest things about all the changes we make in NASCAR is that the teams are constantly figuring out a way around the rules. You know, that's our job, to figure out loopholes. And so I feel like with the, the temperatures you might see tomorrow, I, I could see the, the draft looking a lot like today. You know, maybe a little bit more side-by-side -side than you saw today in terms of pack racing. Uh, we saw that in practice. I just feel like coming to the end of the race, you're going to at least see a, a one-lap tandem, you know, or half-lap tandem. And that's what we'll decide it. But I think uh, you're going to, you know, just like Daytona and the earlier Talladega this year, you're going to see a mix. And I think it's uh, it's a cool mix. It puts a lot in the driver's hands, and it also gives the fans that, that racing that causes a lot of uh, melee, you know, the pack racing. I think it's just the best mix possible, and I think we have some of the best super speed racing we've seen in, ever in, uh, in NASCAR right now. Go to Bob. Well, Bob Hocker, Sporting News. Did you have to fight um – Timothy for this truck since it had won before. <laughs> I mean, he is a little bit ahead of you in the points. Yeah, no, uh, I. it was never mentioned. Uh, I think, you know, the 17, the 711 were very open about sharing trucks. You know, we'll, there will be races this year where 
we'll use a truck that he used a couple weeks earlier and he'll use a truck that we use and it just how the rotation works out and i think uh you know this truck kind of was maybe reserved for the seven and chad i don't know this is a better question for chad because i think uh he did he has a kind of a affiliation with this but I, i'm not sure where to go with that bob And when, also a question, when Penske hired Ryan, did you want to be let go when, I mean, from Brad, knowing that that probably was going to end up being Ryan's spot at some point, and I mean, and did that, and has that turned out to kind of be the best thing for you almost? Well, uh, when that whole situation went down, I, I said to my, everyone in my circle, my mom, my parents, everyone around me, I said, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. And they kind of looked at me like I was crazy, and I just said, you know, a lot of ways, in a lot of these driver development relationships, you can see when you come in so young, I came there when I was 18 years old, and we didn't have a lot of opportunity for me. There wasn't a lot of sponsorship out there. There wasn't a lot of money around, and I didn't get a lot of races. And because of that, you almost get a stale relationship. You get you know, almost to a point where they know you too well, you know them too well, that they can't say the things they want to say, you can't say the things you want to say to them. And it becomes a relationship where you look at, you know, where's the future? And there wasn't a future. And so obviously when that whole situation went down, I think with Brad and I, uh, you know, we were just looking at the future of his race team, the future of my career, and in a lot of ways, it, it didn't align. And I think that you know, for both of us, it was best if we went our separate ways. We'll I'm ahead. happy where I'm at, though. I definitely this is I'm <laughs> I definitely say that a lot of people commented when I've been around. I've, I've had a more of a smile on my face and a lot of things like that. So I've been more upbeat a lot for. Yeah. Down up front. Hey Parker, uh, Roger Holtz, call SpeedwayMedia.com. Uh, today, I believe marks your seventh start with Red Horse Racing. And looks like it also makes oh it looks like it also makes your fifth top five out of those seven starts. So that's a pretty impressive record. Uh, does that maybe give you a little uh, feel of retribution after what happened earlier? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you know I wish that said three wins right now and and seven top fives because I think that's what we've been able to you know every week we've had the shot to win. And uh, you know it's just a testament as I said before to this entire organization. Chad Kendrick, Tom Deloach, putting great people behind this race team behind these race trucks and eventually, you know, Toyota, TRD and Joe Gibbs Racing Motors, all this combined just, you know, puts a great package together. And when I showed up here, it was, you know, a little bit just like, hey, there's a pressure on you to perform. You know, hey, you, these things are up to par. These are trucks that are up to winning par. And you, I haven't won. And so I had to come in there with the mentality of saying, I belong here. I, you know, I want this. And if, I'm, if I want this, I got to win. And uh, we've come close and I'm just glad to get it out of the way now. Any further questions in the media center? Okay, congratulations. Thank you very Chad. much. Thank, Thank you all. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for sticking around.